Welcome back to my channel everyone. Today we're going to be doing some scrunch bikini bottoms. For today's tutorial you're going to need swimwear fabric, pattern paper, an existing bikini bottoms pattern. You're going to need rubber elastic and braided elastic. Usually I use rubber elastic in my tutorials since it is better for swimwear, but in this tutorial we're going to be needing braided elastic since it has better stretching properties. So the first step is get your existing pattern ready. You're going to trace a copy of your back piece onto pattern paper. And you're just going to be making an exact copy. So once you have your clone back piece, you're going to draw a horizontal line about 4 inches up from the gusset area. We're going to be using this line to lengthen the pattern. Take your clone piece with a line on it and cut it along the horizontal line. And now getting your pattern paper out again, you're going to place the pieces of the clone back piece together. And depending on how much scrunch you want, you will space out the pieces to lengthen the pattern. Since I wanted kind of a light scrunch, I space out about two inches. So this means that there's going to be two inches of fabric scrunched in our bottoms. If you want more of an intense scrunch, I would definitely recommend going more towards five inches, maybe even ten inches. So after making that adjustment, you're just going to refine and redraw the bottoms pattern to maintain the same shape. Now cut your new back piece out, which we're going to call it the scrunch piece now. So now you should have three pattern pieces, the front, the back, and the scrunch back. As with normal bottoms, we're now going to cut out two of the front piece. We're going to cut one of the back piece and one of the scrunch back piece. And remember that the scrunch back will be on the outside facing fabric and the regular back piece will be your lining. In this tutorial, I'm using the red fabric for my lining. As usual with my tutorials, I'm leaving about a quarter inch of seam allowance. So now I'm going to cut one of the front piece and I'm going to be cutting one of the scrunch back piece. So now that we have all our pieces, we're finally going to be adding the scrunch. The first step is measuring your elastic. The back of bottoms typically are around 8 to 10 inches. For a size medium, it's 9 inches for the patterns that I make. So you're going to want your scrunch bottoms to maintain the same shape as regular bottoms, so you will cut your braided elastic to fit the height of your bottoms. If you're unsure of this measurement, simply take your regular back piece and cut the elastic to fit it. First, we're going to secure the top and bottom ends of our elastic. To be a good man inside, did everything that you thought you should. I'm going to be using a regular sewing machine for this. And I'm just running over it a couple times to secure it in place. Now 
Now you'll notice that as we sew, we can stretch out and sew a straight line down the bottom. It can be helpful to mark the center line on your back piece just to make sure that you're sewing down the middle. Now as you sew, you're going to stretch the elastic and secure the elastic down the middle of the piece. I'm using a straight stitch for this. And this is what the result looks like. Now for the rest of the tutorial, you're just going to follow the same directions that I use for any of my bikini bottoms. And if you haven't seen one of my videos before, I'll link some in the description so you can get an idea of how I do my bikini bottoms. So I wanted to quickly explain the difference between rubber elastic and braided elastic. The braided elastic, it's spun together, so it has a bunch of threads in it that make it really strong. In contrast, rubber elastic is plasticky. So what happens when you stretch it as far as you can and then stick a needle in it, it's actually just going to break. So the fact that it's plasticky makes it great for swimwear since it won't corrode in salt and chlorine. But since we do need to put a lot of pressure on the elastic in this tutorial, braided elastic is going to be the way to go. And here is our final product. So as you can see, I did a very minimal scrunch. And if you're doing this at home, definitely do a matching thread so that you can't see that white line down the middle. Yeah, but you don't need an additional pattern to do this. You can use your existing pattern and make any bottoms appear as scrunch bottoms. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next Tuesday. Trust in you. Fool.